wait till you guys see this. Welcome back to DBL. Seven-year-old Molly Wright is reportedly the youngest girl to ever give a TED Talk. And she has a very important message for parents. Take a look. I know it's important for adults to use their devices sometimes. But kids are hardwired to seek out meaningful connections. Not receiving them causes confusion and stress. Okay, I'm a joy. Please re-engage. <laughs> now, what if a whole childhood was like that last 30 seconds? Wow, and she had a powerful, I strongly encourage everybody to watch this whole TED Talk. I just posted it on my it's Instagram. Incredible you can watch it. Um, it's only like five minutes. And so you can see it at fisherprice.com. What? And nothing. Are you, are you mocking the, I, this girl? Yeah, I was just kidding. Oh, okay. You make, Jeez, I, guys. Sorry, sorry. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, I, just I love ready the that. fact that I'm sorry. Was it ready? sorry. Okay. Okay. It was aggressive. I'm yeah, sorry. We're like at a wake up here. It's <laughs> all right. seven-year-old is unbelievable. She's like anointed. She doesn't even fidget. When I talk, I fidget. I like this seven-year-old doesn't even fidget. But for me, uh, I'm going to put myself in that category. I struggle with building a balance between my phone and my kids mm. to the point where I need boundaries. I put my phone away. I take all my apps off my phone that I'm addicted to, like Instagram. Oh yeah, they're not on my phone. I have to go on a computer to go on Instagram, to go on Facebook. So really? That's what works for me. So uh, I know that a lot of parents struggle with this and yeah. I think we need hard boundaries. Some people don't need boundaries. I need boundaries because I'm much happier when I'm with my kids as opposed to, I'm anxious on my device. I hate my device. It's not only my own device, which I don't really have a problem with. I'll yeah, be honest, good. I'm good at putting it away mm -hmm. because I don't care to look at it. And it also it's my gives... children's devices, right? Oh. It's that parenting, like, listen, I just want to watch the game. Go play on your mm. your little phone, I call mm. it. You know what I mean? So that's a problem in my house because sometimes I feel like they're playing a little bit too much. I definitely tablet. spend time outside. But if this was my child at seven, like, please re-engage. I'd be like, I don't know if I'd be sad or be like, go to your room. Get out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I think, go that. run in the dirt and get hurt with yeah. your knees. Yeah. I, I made a joke, but I think it's going to be hard for a lot of adults to take a message from a younger person. That's but a like, who, not when you watch it. I but promise I, you. I, I know. She does but, examples. But like, who? We never get kids' perspective on like, what do you guys think about the president? The people that are going to inherit this earth very right. soon. Yeah. We don't ask them anything, and they have this unique perspective about adults, and they, they don't get a chance to vote or really participate in society. But we don't go to them for anything, even though they're usually on the leading edge of technology and and the next app and the next thing. But we don't consult them for anything and she spits maybe because they're seven yeah, well. wait till you watch it <laughs> trust me you'll learn something from her i did